Depth bomb. Who the hell is this? Dragon Star, okay. What's the con? Does anyone know the context behind his name? Depth Bomb. Yes, wipe you got expect it depends in return. Can't expect him to give one definite answer. Exactly. I'm literally the it depends guy. It's everything does depend. It's just harsh reality and facts. Bulgarians, which is my next uh, competitive civ overview. See if I can apply some of the things I say there into this game. Bulgarians against Poles, two civs that don't have the best range units. Can you go fast imp into F16s? I'm afraid not. I'm afraid not. I'll probably do like my arms in the depth. We'll see how he plays. Maybe we can play my arms into scouts even. But probably my arms into range. We'll see where we end up. Aren't Poles Arbalest any good? I mean, not the best, but not the worst. Yeah, and uh, Bulgarian's Cow Archers are also pretty okay. But it's just like your bonuses and Civ opening slash playstyle just kind of naturally lean more into different compositions. Poles heavily not reliant or dependent, but like they have good, very good food bonus, right? That's not necessarily something you need with Arbalus play. Bulgarians, cheaper blacksmith, free infantry upgrades or I mean, arms upgrade. Not really. You can't play ranged units after that, but you don't have anything after archers, right? So it's only like skirms or cow archers. What about this buff for the Bulgarians? You can research a unique text in the Ukraine post. Is that a serious buff though? To the point of, oh, that's a buff. Now they're viable. You know, like what that does is just push their... Uh, it doesn't change much. Uh, I don't think it would be a big deal if you can research them in the Ukraine post, to be honest. But it's not like it's a buff. It's not changing anything about the Civ. Civ remains exactly the same. Ah, the, the mill, that has to be the barrack. Bad build, bad build. You made dumplings filled with blueberries. Ooh, that sounds a little, a little delicious. Hard buffing wouldn't would allow tra well, traps at Krapos would be. Oof. That's dangerous. Maybe they could make like a weaker version of the trap and allow it. You know, in AWE4, you have like the weaker trebuchet for the Mongols, for example. Maybe a worse, weaker version of the trebuchet is not something unheard of. Let's say like a 12 range trebuchet or 11 range trebuchet. Less HP, less damage, of course. How dangerous S tier? No, 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 no. It's just certain situations that will be so strong for them. Uh, Krapos rush into fast imp <laughs> to, to, to the traps. Traps and Krapos, everything, all you need. Um, I think my barracks will be too late to play my arms. So change the plan. We'll just open stable with faster, with better, with blacksmith upgrades probably. It's already kind of walling off to give himself full workspace, I guess.
Weaker petards as well. Petards are already weak, so they we cannot have weaker petards. Impossible. But I, I wouldn't be uh, against a new unit in like a just a word like a lesser trebuchet, let's say. I don't think it would be game breaking, and it's a unit you could introduce to multiple saves as well, not just. Uh, Bulgarians in this case. Should probably do Loom. We want a lot of things here. Doing stable. I'll open Blacksmith right away. And we'll try to hopefully be able to afford some upgrades. But I also want horse color before I start farming. Might be a bit expensive. But we're doing it. Okay, horse color next. I mean, we could still pretty much afford everything. I think it's pretty solid. We have forging and we're getting horse color as well. But my food eco will be a bit weak now in the next few minutes. Why are you by yourself, sir? Bam! Yeah, now we're gonna have a bad ish food economy for the next few minutes. So production will be lacking now. Surprised he hasn't circled over to my woodline. He's doing it now. I also don't think he will necessarily do any f aggression. Oh, he's just gonna go super safe. So this is now just set up eco and go in go up to Castledge. Where we might play cow archers. Mini trap on a siege tower. Now we're talking. Yeah. We're okay, this will be a just passive game from here. He's fully walled, so I can't really do anything. I could try to punish his gold. All his gold spots are quite far out. But he all, wait, his stone is out as well. You know what? Let's continue producing. We'll force him to invest into towers. We'll try to be aggressive here. Should be a bit of a surprise follow-up investment given how this game is playing out. Is anyone will forward? Hopefully it doesn't get spotted. I would love to find his scouts. I'm gonna leave some scouts behind to not give away that I'm building extra scouts. Oh, he's building extra scouts. That's very nice. Thank you very much. Right, this is proxy building time. I think. Proxy second barracks. That's it. Yes, 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 yes. And armor. What can go wrong? I have no idea where his army is. And frankly, I don't care. I just want to win this fight. Okay, I'm a little bit scared about his army. Not gonna lie. Little, little afraid. But is he, how many scouts are, is he making? Holy shit.
Ah, there it is. Okay, we won the spear fight. He's not on gold anywhere. He's still losing stable, so I think I think a second forward barracks is actually gonna be pretty good here. He's not on any gold. We'll do a preemptive tower here. Make sure he's not on this gold either. Yeah, I'm also thinking we might end up playing... I wonder if he saw this. The spear definitely sees it though, right? Look, we have double infantry production as well. I could go add long swords. Gotta be careful on overchop because he has a lot of scouts around on the map. Ugh, villager is not supposed to go forward. Ugh. That's not the most pretty. <sighs> He's still making scouts as well. I think that's fine for me. He did forging. I have a big feeling we're going to end up with big infantry plays here. In the end. Still doesn't have bloodlines. I do. Oof. Good fight for me. Infantry into Krapos drop. Now we're talking. Limited Viper today? I don't feel very limited as we speak. We need to get on stone. We need to get Krapos up and running. Or possibility of Krapos production anyway. Should be fine. Oh. Go inside. <sighs> Stupid. Oh, you wanted to go here? Interesting. He may have bought his way up. But I now can do long swords. He has bloodlines now. Okay, what's going on here? Sacrificing villagers. Love to see it. We're gonna get long swords. We have long swords soon. Full long sword upgrades. He's adding another barrack? Oh, he's switching into full pikes. I'm going long swords, man. Pikes ain't gonna be good. I mean, it's gonna be good if I don't have units at all. GG. <laughs> Sunlight, all pros and Q ranked. Really? Yeah, this became a very weird game, but just identifying his map, right? We can all his stone and golds were because like, he did the short walls to secure his full work. Man, what is this? Who farms around TC with poles? Dragon Star, man. That's 10 farms completely wasted. <gasps> this one is not even. Does this one count? It doesn't, right? He, he, is, he is gonna benefit from the auto farming, I tell you that much. There's even a gap there! What, what is this farming? Okay, I take back what I said. Auto farming is gonna be huge. 
It's gonna be huge for many players. Fun game though. Just identifying map and trying to punish positions.